Oh, they can send town. Send the crew. How long? Two days. Uh, I like to. Two days. You like it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, I'm going to explain something about the tobacco process. This is the tobacco seeds. Very small. Mm. It's impossible to plant one by one. It's one plant by one seed. Oh my! Oh. So how do you... you can touch? We take and throw like rice or oh, okay. tomato. See? Mm -hmm. In winter, is the best season because the weather is more fresh and dry. Uh -huh. October, November, we plant the seeds. 45 days later, the plant grows and has 20, 25 centimeters. We have to select the best one and replant again. In February, March, the plant has 1 meter 50, 1 meter 60, 15, 20 leaves by plant. And depending on the position in the plant, the leaf has different qualities. The leaf from the bottom has the less quality. Mm -hmm. From the middle, medium quality, gives the smell of the cigars. And the leaf from the top has the best quality. Receive directly the sun ray, give the taste, okay? We collect by hand, beginning from the bottom of the top, and after we collect, put inside of the house like this, by two or three months to dry. We have two more house because we separate the leaf depending on the position in the plant. All these belong from the bottom. Oh, in oh so one, this is not good. Middle. So now this is the, the low grade, yes. Yeah. I mean, this is the, the low very, quality. Yeah, this is the black and mild version. Yeah. 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 To, to root one cigar, we combine all the leaves at the same time. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Well, this is the leaf when I dry. Like this looks like a banana leaf. No smell, no nothing. It's impossible mm. to root one cigar to one of these. But we have to sell the 90% of the production to the government. And we keep only with a 10%. Yeah, I heard that part. 90%. So you, you sell 90%, oh, you keep 10% your 10%, for yourself? 10%, yeah. As a private mm -hmm. entity, yes, you sell ninety percent of it mm -hmm. to the government. To the and government, ten percent. Mm -hmm. For prepare one cigar, is a three parts: filler, binder, and wrapper. Filler, binder, and wrapper. Yes. Nice <laughs> In the factory, so it's a machine for paper, the cigar is a machine for the press. Here's the press, is paper. And put the cigar in the paper, five hours, the paper absorbs the humidity. After the five hours, fill the paper. After the, the, the five hours, finish the paper and put the last part of the wrapper. Mm -hmm. Finish the cigar. And this is not ready for smoke. Oh. Then put in the, in the paper five hours, it's more humidity. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's necessary to put in the paper five hours. After the five hours, it's ready for smoke. After the five hours, no smoke the cigar, no problem. Keep it the cigar in the pantry leaf. It's a protection, the humidity, conservation of the tobacco, more traditional in Cuba. Okay. Keep it here four years, no more. The four years, the quality down, so fermentation is organic. Four years? Yes, go like this. No, no problem. It's okay. And this, here I made this cigar for smoke the family. For pressing the family, the friend, for a special day, for Christmas, and there's no problem. No problem, the custom house is possible by four person. 50 cigar the farmer and 50 the factory. One cigar like this in the factory, the price 10, 12, 15, 18, 20, 25 co for one. Here I'm putting this pack, 14 cigar is 45 co. And the big pack, 20 cigar, the price 60 co. 14 is 3 co, point twenty ish. And 20 street cook is. It's totally different. The cigar the factory and the cigar in the tree in Havana. In Havana, many people are talking for the tourists. Go today to the cooperative, today's special price. Only today is possible by cigar. He's fake. He's black marketing. True. You walk around and there's a whole bunch of people trying to sell cigars.
I got, I got puffed. Ventana Futuro. Oh, yeah, I got a puff together. Okay, Lexi, you, you require too ah, much see, see. right now. It's, it's, it's time to ride. Giddy up. Meet Lucero. Lucero. Lucero? <laughs> All right. Um. have a time here in Kiva. We start in September and ends in December. It's okay. only four more. Oh, <coughs> September about, to December? Yeah, but about the world changes, we have coffee almost all year. That's why you're seeing they're growing now and they start to ripen. Mm -hmm. mm. The white one? Mm -hmm. The yellow, yellow one, sorry. Yeah. Okay, and after, when you're gonna collect it, you must come to the same plant every week two or three times to pick the red or yellow one, one by one, because it's impossible they don't ripe at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's why I told this is a hard job. Yeah, a lot of maintenance. Yeah, in Cuba we have, uh, have you tasted with honey before? Coffee with honey? Yeah, no. no. Good. Here in Cuba it's really common to drink sweet coffee. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. That's why I bring it. It's healthier mm -hmm. and the flavor is totally better. Mm -hmm. How you know? You tried to... Wow, it's my tradition. Yeah. <laughs> it's my tradition. The family of Bacardi left, left. to Puerto Rico. Yeah. But Bacardi was originally created in Cuba. Yeah, the first time. Bacardi yeah, rum was originally yeah. created in Cuba. Here, right? No. Until the family to moved to Puerto Rico. Okay. Viñales is a town. Uh-huh. I'm teaching y'all things. Oh, okay. Pinata. I know, I just... Pinata. He's taking this to Yesta. <laughs> All right, so we did the coffee and honey part of the vanilla store on the horseback ride. I got a two hour car ride back to Havana. 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 Ooh, na, na. Na, 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 Dinner time. I got pork fajitas and vegetables. Katie got chicken. Carenza got a whole pizza for three fifty, three dollars and fifty couscous. But basically, see you see. Don't need see you see. Couscous. This is five dollars. How much was that? Um, three ninety. Three ninety. CUC is um, equal to one US dollar. So the food out here is very cheap. Very cheap. Let me do a cheap. segment on your blog. Hey, Cuba Day 2 has come to an end. So, what did we think of Cuba Day 2, Carenza? Um, it was a lot of fun. I smoked a cigar and had a headache. Like three puffs. Oh, um, the countryside was interesting. There's like not a lot of cars over there. Um, the people, and the farmers are all cute. <laughs> like they're like short, like I'm six that. foot, but they're short, but they're all really cute. And everything was a reasonable price. Yeah, if you come to Cuba, go to Vinales, go to the countryside so you can see something outside of Havana. Cause Havana is busy, but Vinales was, very peaceful and everybody was really nice and you're gonna love it so my take on day two vinales was really nice countryside it just gave you really like well all of havana gives you old school vibes like all of it but you just saw everybody with their horse and buggy like how many cars did y'all think we saw like 
besides the taxi that we were in, I think everything was literally <clears throat> a taxi out there. Um, our taxi driver, our tour guide was telling us like two out of 10 people in Cuba have a car. And then in the countryside, nobody really has a car. Everybody uses horses for transportation. So it was really nice, I mean, to see the the um, tobacco factory. I don't really smoke for like period, maybe a hookah every now and then, but it was really cool just to learn how they do it and all of that stuff. <clears throat> and they were nice. Anyways, on to day three tomorrow. Hopefully we don't get rained on. Good morning from Cuba. Good morning. So it's just me and Kabeezers today. I think I've called her three different names in this vlog. Her name is Carenza. Family calls her Dana. And <laughs> her nickname is KB. So if y'all heard me say three different names, that's that's why. And then my it's other me, cousin. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. <laughs> my other cousin is just Katie. Um so we're headed to do a hiking tour, some waterfall, some really even know what all is included in the tour but we're going so we're just waiting for our tour guide to come and then we're doing like an hour and a half bus ride taxi ride out there and all that good stuff so we'll see how much of this hike I can vlog oh and that's definitely another thing when and if you come to Cuba you must know some Spanish a little bit at least you know most of the places that you travel a lot of people on those islands, those countries or whatever, probably speak quite a bit of English so you don't have a lot of translation issues. There's not a lot of English speaking people here. I mean, you find a few like your tour guides and stuff like that, but just the random people on the street, they are not speaking no English. But they're nice. They are very nice, helpful as much as they can be. Taxi drivers not really speaking no English. There's no Uber. <laughs> no. There's no. also no McDonald's. Yeah, there's no chain like Cuba is a whole socialism, okay? Yeah. Government owned everything. A whole different experience. A great experience. I'm really enjoying it out here. But it's completely different. Y'all know like Tamar say it said about this. 1957 Chevrolet. Three seater. Three rower. It's kind of cool. Ceilings are really low. Alright, we've made it to Hospita Gardens. It's a botanical garden in Cuba. The most important botanical gardens in the 19th century. So, now we're starting a hikey hike. What time is it? And get myself together here. It is 9.59 a.m. and we're supposed to be done with the complete hike tour, canoe, bungee jumping, whatever we're doing <laughs> by um, 5 p.m. So, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. It means that the waters that were running inside the caves were not turbulent. Okay. Over calm waters. Okay. And if the distance between them gets uh, smaller, uh -huh. it means that the waters were, were running like very, very hard, very turbulent inside. So the cave experience was good. Bats were in there and spiders, but they were harmless. We walked our way to the top. There's a rock in the water. Now we're going to bungee down. I'm exhausted, my knee hurts, but it's really nice out here, <sighs> all because of her, oh lord, I gotta work out more. <laughs> Lexi is currently trying to figure out how long she can go. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I'm good. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm tired. But it feels good out here. This water is nice.
how much of me is tempted to just happen. But I don't know how deep it is. But I can swim. But still, I don't get, get washed away. <laughs> then y'all would miss me. There wouldn't be any more like seeing the cold life by design YouTube videos. Suited and booted again and ready to climb on down. Are y'all ready? I'm not taking y'all with me, but I'll let you know when I make it back in the line. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Oh my god! before but that climbing not using your hands that part you literally are moonwalking off of a cliff <laughs> propelled to another person literally literally so we climbed back up the other side with the rope uh, and I think we're about to hike somewhere else and then take a little break eat some food eat a snack it is now 119 and it's not supposed to be done. The hike is not supposed to be done until five. So, Lord, here we go. Made it to the next stop. <laughs> what do you think? That was like a mile hike? A little less than a mile? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, now we're about to go swim in a cave. And we're going to the course. It wouldn't be a Caribbean island without some rain. Trying to walk back in this river of water. <sighs> what an experience, y'all. What an experience. All right. After our long journey today, we are at the famous, what's the name of the place? El Florida. Florida. For Hem Hemingway's favorite daiquiri or something like that. It's a little spot. Let's see what this food menu is about. Yeah, I'm waiting for the food menu. <laughs> Anyways, I got seafood risotto. Yes. Karenza got her protein chicken. Katie got shrimps, <laughs> plural, with bread. Some some this on the side, something else on. The, anyways, we gonna eat. Right. It was honestly amazing. It's in Old Havana. I had the seafood risotto and it was perfect. <laughs> Anyways, I am walking like a crippled woman, like my body is done. 
from that um, hike earlier. So we're headed back to the Airbnb. Call it a night. Hola. So today is day four. I feel like I skipped a day or I was counting wrong because I don't feel like I ever said day three. Anyways, today is day four in Cuba. Our last full day here. And we are going to go to Old Havana and do some touristy stuff, take some cute photos, which I'm mostly excited about. Y'all, my body is beat, okay? Beat, beat, beat from um, <laughs> that mountain climbing, rock climbing stuff yesterday. Look at the view out here, y'all. It's just so nice. Um, so yeah, we're just doing some dining right now, getting some food in our system, and then it's hot today. Today's the hottest day. And we're gonna do some walking around, so we need our energy. Old Havana. We're walking and snapping photos. Photo opportunities everywhere. These people. It's real. It is extremely too hot today to be outside standing up like a statue like she is. But hey, gotta do what you gotta do, right? It's really nice out here, y'all. I know I say that about everywhere. I'm always like, it's really nice out here, y'all. <laughs> but Cuba is definitely a totally different experience. Totally different. Del San Francisco. Oh, they have the Oh, yeah. you can still get her. We made it to the fourth and final plaza. Right? Yeah. All four? All these different plazas, I'm not really sure. We didn't get a tour guide. Katie did the tour yesterday, so she's being our official tour guide today. But all the f different plazas, they have different names. We're in Plaza Vija, there's Plaza San Francisco. Plaza de, what was the first one? Arms, Armes, something. And they just all have like different stores, museums, restaurants. Yeah, and it's cute. Now we're about to get some type of ice cream. Okay, we couldn't stop talking about yesterday, so let's see. Cocoa Is it heaven? Yes. Or is it heaven and hell? Dinner for the evening. California Cafe. Oh, salon. Hair and nails? No agua. Uh, California cafe closed. No pork hamburger. Which, it really does. Really does. Like, a pork hamburger. So. Alright. I'm finding a nice gentleman that is suggesting that we dine at the restaurant he works at. Los Amigos Restaurante. Okay. BTW, I don't know if I've told y'all, but everybody here is really nice. Haven't met a rude person yet. All right, 
last night in Cuba. Cuba. Habana, Cuba. We're sitting on the El Malecon, enjoying a late night breeze. So what is our overall thoughts of Cuba? Katie, get up. Oh, I'm sorry. I was having a nap. Uh, overall Katie. thoughts. Okay. Okay. Katie, go first. Cuba is definitely unmatched. I don't think there is anywhere in the Caribbean like Cuba. It's very different. It's very safe. I think I was struck by how safe it is, how friendly people are. How you can be out on the streets, even us on a Malecon now, it's almost what nine, ten o'clock. I feel like I could fall asleep here all night and nobody would mess with me. Um, I mean, I think the only thing I would tell people and make sure that transportation is in your budget because the taxis can get expensive. The food, depending on where you eat, not so much. The activities, depending on what you do, not so much. All the museums I found out today in old Havana are free by the government but Cuba definitely is like a, a 9.5 out of 10 for me you just have to come Cuba was really fun um, it reminded me a lot of Jamaica in a lot of ways um, as far as the government you can see definitely the, the pros and the cons of socialism um, it's like a hidden gem in North America right now and the people are so nice and everybody is so beautiful like so beautiful like pretty people nobody ugly and nobody fat and um, <laughs> like, ser like seriously you see a guy with a gut but like nobody like wobbling um, um, it was good I liked it a lot um, Wi-Fi like if you if you want to come on vacation here and you always need to be connected. This ain't the spot. For this you. is not it for you, okay? Like, you have to be engaged. And that's why I like Cuba because the people are engaged. But also, it's a sense of community when it's Wi Fi. You can see people at parks, so you know they're on their phone, they're quiet, they're Wi Fi or whatever. But you have to be engaged. Um, it's a lot of horses in the country. Like, when we went to Vinales, and we were not in the city anymore. You see, like, for every five horse-drawn carriages, you might see one car. And it was a bunch. What else? It's a $50 visa. That's it. Okay, so I'm just, I love Cuba. Um, piggyback on everything that they said. Um, the first thing I noticed, besides the structures and the paintings of everything, um, was really just the face-to-face -face communication with everybody. That kind of stopped me in my tracks. Like you literally see people just walking and talking, having true interaction. You know, people can't hide behind their phones here, which I think is really awesome. So I would just say the five things to know before you come to Cuba, which they mentioned some of them. Um, Wi-Fi is not something that you're going to have 24 seven. You buy a little card, you scratch off the number on the back, you type it in, you have an hour of access these cards range from one to three kooks, which kooks is their currency. One kook equals one USD. Um, food in places like that, like Katie was talking about, isn't really expensive. We've had some really great meals for six to eight kooks, and then we've had some things that were a little bit more, but they knew that they were feeding tourists. Like when we did some of the tours in Vinales or whatever, they charge us a little bit more, but I mean, it was platters, like literally like so much food. Um, what else should you know? Um, just simply, you can still come to Cuba. Like a lot of people have mentioned that, oh, I didn't know we could still go there. You can still go there. They're gonna ask you, you know, what reason are you going? You just put supporting the Cuban people. Like when you go um, with my airline that's near and dear to my heart, you know, once you check in, they ask you if you need a visa, you buy the visa for $50 and you're good. That's that's all you need. Um, what else? We stayed at an Airbnb, like y'all know. I didn't go look at any of the hotels, so I don't know what, you know, what type of amenities or anything like that that they had. But our Airbnb was, it's nice, it's in the middle of the city. There isn't anywhere that you can go that's just gonna be super luxurious because he was just not a, 
luxury type place like it's that. It's like stuck in a time warp. Yeah, it is kind of like being stuck in a time warp. Like they've had, you know, everyday access to Wi-Fi for what two to three years now. Two to three years, y'all. Wi-Fi access. So you just have to consider those things when you come. Um, it's not really like a beach vacation either. Um, there is beaches. We didn't go to the beach because we wanted to do more like history learning type things while we were here. They have a really nice beach, but it's not that type of vacation. You come here to learn and experience. Um, what else am I forgetting? The old school cars are a little overrated for me personally. I like them. It was cool to ride in it, but... I think it's the long distance that was yeah, maybe that was it. If we were just riding like through old Havana or something and like really just sightseeing. But we took the old school cars, the 57 and 58 Chevy, for two hour drives and there's no seatbelts and which I like a seatbelt. <laughs> I mean it's just you know just different. It's just different. So um the people are amazing. I don't think I ran into or saw anyone that I felt was rude or nasty or, you know, didn't like Americans or anything like that. They were just, everybody was very inviting and they seemed just super appreciative for us to be here and supporting the Cuban people. Like, honestly, that's how I felt. Um, would I come back? Definitely. Yes. Immediately? No, because there's just other places that I want to go to before I start making double trips to places but yeah I think Cuba is a great place to come experience um, just the way of life here it's really really nice it's just it's good to get away and disconnect I'm on the internet a lot social media a lot and it really felt nice for my phone not to be buzzing all day long and feeling like you have to initially respond to anything so that is it for Cuba we have a flight back to Wherever we're going tomorrow, Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta, Houston, Texas, wherever. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye. I will walk. We're saying goodbye to the Malacorn. Bye to 